In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy an ERC-1155 using Third Web's dashboard. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome back to my channel and especially this beautiful Third Web series. Now, if you feel a bit lost and you don't know where I'm at right now, I highly recommend watching this series on the playlist called Third Web with Hashlips. Watch it from the start because these videos follow on each other. Now, in the previous video, we actually created an ERC721 contract and here it is deployed on the Rinkeby test network. The reason why it's important to watch the previous videos is because in this video, I do cover all of the important details regarding Third Web's dashboard and the fields that's needed. And I do go in depth. But for this one, because the process is so similar, we don't need to go into depth at all. I can just simply show you the exact same process, but instead deploy the 1155 contract. So let's get going. Okay, so to deploy a new contract, let's click on this button. We are already on the dashboard. And when we get here, we can see that we now need to deploy the 1155 contract. This is known as the addition drop on third web. Like I said, much like the NFT drop and the NFT collection, addition drop and addition is the same kind of concept. That's why we are going to go for the addition drop. Click on deploy now. Exactly like before, we can now fill in our name and give it maybe our symbol, description, as well as an image. Adding my description and that's perfect. Next, you can, for primary sales, add an address that you want the primary sales to go to. For the royalties, do the same and put a percentage here. Let's make it 2%. Once we are happy with the addresses that these funds will go to, we can select the network. Again, I'm going to select the Rinkeby test network. But in this case, if you want to do main network, you'll have to do that and switch MetaMask to your main network. Let's click on deploy. As you can see that this is exactly the same as the ERC721 NFT drop, the previous video that we've done. That's why if you wanna go in depth through all of these fields, watch that video. I'm not gonna mention that again because I don't wanna sound repetitive, but I just wanna mention that it's important to follow the series from start to finish. Click on confirm, and now we can wait for our contract to be deployed. Fantastic, our contract is now deployed. How easy was that? Right off the bat, you might notice a difference and might ask yourself, where is the claim phases tab that the ERC721 had before? Well, this doesn't have it on the top level. Because this is an 1155 contract, it works differently. With 1155, you can have many tokens of the same item. So, it means that we will need to set that settings inside each NFT, as well have different embeds for each one. Let me show you what I mean. So now we're going to batch upload the exact same metadata that we did before, but this time each NFT can have many editions of the same one. So that is why the 1155 is so cool. It's mostly used sometimes in games for game assets. Think of it, if you have a character with a sword, many characters can have the same sword, but it is still the same item. So let's go ahead and click on batch upload. As we can see that this will take the exact same data that we had the previous time. Now just a recap, the data that we're going to upload is a set of images as well as a metadata file. So let's go back, let's go click on upload Click on the Hashtips Art Engine, the build, and we need to upload all of these files. Let's go and click on open. We are presented with the screen for us to validate that the actual NFT has the correct metadata associated to it. And yes, we can verify this has a red background and the same for the purple and yellow. So now what we can do 
is click on Upload if we are happy with the data. We will need to confirm this transaction. And then once it's confirmed, we should now be able to do the next step. Our images and metadata are now successfully uploaded. And here they all are. Now basically, you might have noticed that unlike the 721 contract, there was no reveal data step. And that's because these uh, NFTs will already be revealed because they are ERC 1155. And generally, they are not hidden from the start. But what we can do now and what we should do is set a claiming phase for each one of these. So basically, because there can exist many of each of these tokens, we will need to set settings on them individually. So let's go and do the first one. Over here on the right hand side, you can see a settings panel. Let's click on the settings for ID token zero. So here, let's set up our initial claim phase. You can see that this is exactly the same form that we found in the 721. So you can set the date when you want to start this phase. You can set the amount that you want to drop. At this given time, I want to have 10 of this particular token. You can put a price, so let's make it 0.01, .01. Ethereum as a currency. I explained this before, you can do whitelisting if you want to, or you can do it for the public. And for our mint, what I would like to do is make it claimable one per transaction and zero seconds in between. And that is it. I can save this phase and or I can add additional ones, but for now, I'm going to save this phase and I'll need to confirm this with the transaction. Once the transaction is successful, the settings is saved. So I can close this. Now I can basically do the exact same thing when it comes to the second token over here, ID1. I can also set a phase for this token. Now I'm doing this in bulk. That's why I have all my tokens here. Alternatively, you can just create them one by one and add them gradually as you go along. But this is how you would do it. And then once people start claiming, you can obviously transfer them, you can airdrop some or burn some of them. And that is about it. The rest of the tabs are exactly the same as the 721. You also get your permissions, you also get your settings that you can set, as well as the code, which we're going to discuss in a later tutorial, and the embed. The only thing that's different with the 1155 is that you will need to create an embed, like so, for each one of the tokens. So essentially, you will have this iframe in your website, which points to token ID0 and artwork1. Then you'll create another one, update this, wait for this to update, then copy the iframe and point this to ID1, Artwork 2. And this you'll upload on your website. Now, I know this uh, is a bit tedious, so obviously with the code solution, with a custom dApp, we can probably build something in like a selector bar, and that's what we'll show you as well. But that is it, and that's how simple it is to upload an 1155 to the blockchain. Jumping back to our dashboard, we can now see our addition drop over here, as well as our NFT drop. And I know this was a quick video, and basically we have covered most of the stuff in the previous video, but I hope you learned a lot today. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate everyone watching today. And in the next video, we're going to do some more third web good stuff. So, see you in the next video. Cheers for now.